Welcome to a Psycho Squad Gaming Club role-playing episode. This features mature adults using mature language. If that bothers you, stop listening now. Enjoy our game and remember, alter reality on a regular basis. He is a strong guy. That punch was from a professional. Good. Love getting my butt whooped in the he afternoon. He goes, bah! Hey! Ow. Ow. Um. Get back to... Okay, and now it's all the six million fours. Uh, I'm just... I'm just going to go in the order that I wrote them down. I'm really not, don't care about who goes first, what, and everything. So, uh, Aldonis. Yeah. You are up, sir. I'm going to hit him back. Okay. Your base, uh, base tackle of 13, sir. Natural 20. Die. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, you are not here for the crick die. Who would you like to have roll that die for you? Nick, handle it, my business for me. Play with his balls. Um, you punch. I don't even worry about damage. You punch the main guy dead in the throat. You hear a snap, and he gurgles and falls down. Hooray! You're welcome. There, there's the first, the, the first, first party or, or first test by dealt by a party. Casualty. <laughs> yeah, first casualty. Fear. But uh -oh. no. Uh oh. Power of Heronius is is mighty. <laughs> Power of Nick's rolling is mighty. I am so dang lucky. <laughs> 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 yeah, but now you got to answer to the city guard about a death in the uh, in a tavern brawl now. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> that was not really what I wanted to have. It's like, bow! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my, my fault. It was a fair fight. He swung first, Your Honor. <laughs> Xenon. Oh, I did the wrong person. It's an FA. Shouldn't have gone. It should have been a Hira. Damn it. No, a Hira no. went. Yeah. Then Cogwab went. It's like brow bonus or anything. Their big dude just falls in a clump. Cognab went. Did you miss Siv? I did. I skipped Siv. Yeah, you said my name and then you went on to Greg. And I was yeah, kind of confused. Yeah, sorry. I was looking at an FA. You should have spoke up. God damn it. Sorry, I thought you I had your shit yeah. together, oh, you know. Oh, did you just say God doesn't have his shit together? <laughs> oh, oh, let's see. No, no, I said I thought he the, had the, his shit uh, together. The, the, <laughs> hidden, the hidden pit trap opens up underneath <laughs> Siv. He falls 45 miles down to China and dies impaled on Asmodeus' scepter. Yeah. And you didn't take me home with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. Good lord. All right, so, uh, Siv, what would you like to, to do, sir? Well, first I'd like to spit the, the horse meat that was in my mouth onto the guy in front of me's face. And then I'd like to pull back my fist and punch him in the face. Headbutt. All right, so, um... You're rolling an attack. I don't care about the whole spinning thing. Big deal. Punch him in the ding ding. Punch him in the ding ding. Let's just like knee him in the groin, you know, just grab, grab him by the shoulders and go, boosh. Which one? 14, 15, 16, or 17? I think I might do that. What are you going to do? I'm going to grab him by the shoulders, extend my knee into his groin. Okay, well, one thing at a time. You only have one attack right now. Yeah, I only... <laughs> so I you're, go, attack, you're going for... You're going for a grapple, so your base is a 13. Okay, roll a, roll a d20, please. 
Okay, that's not going to work. Let's see. Let's try this again. Why are you doing? There we go. Um, I rolled a four. You do plus... not. You do not successfully grapple. Okay. Uh, you go to grab onto him, and he just barely moves out of the way, and you just go ha at the air, and it looked really silly. Nice. That was gay. That was gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the next one. Why are you following the door around? <laughs> Talazar. Talzir. That's this. That's <laughs> this. What? Stoneskin. Okay, yeah, cast the spell. It's one segment. Oh, is it one segment? Wow, nice. So you're gonna put up stone skin on yourself. <laughs> you're just like, Bob, we've grown up, we've nitty bob. <laughs> 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 Boom. <laughs> boogly boogly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Someone goes to punch you, breaks their fist. Oh. Yeah. All right, uh, Magnar. Monte! Yeah, I hear you. All right. Thrust him in the... Take the, take the other thing that I was drinking and thrust him in the face with it. The nearest guy. All right. Have punching, a drink. punching bad guy with full mug... Well, not full mug of ale, but... <laughs> Lousy, full mug. <laughs> I spit up better ale than this. All right. Um, all right, your base tackle is a 16. You have no bonus for strength. Roll it. Natural. Who do you want to roll the die for you? Go for it, Chris. Oh, I think you would say Nick. I mean, Jesus, Nick. Now, if Nick is close to Nick. Okay. Um, the die came up maximum damage, which is two. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, we will double it due to the uh, due to the nature of the. Uh, uh, Mug that you're using as a weapon, which is going to add plus two to the damage. Um, what number is that going to be that that Magnar yeah. is beaten of, just smashed his? It's going to be one. Where is he? Yeah, here one, he is. Two, three, four. No, he doesn't count as as one. We took him out. Yeah, he was number one. That's where oh, we started. Oh, is he number one? Okay. Well, that's where we started. Two, three, four, five. It's either yeah. five or six. Five or six. Okay, so we'll say number six. So number six takes a mug to the face for four points of damage. It's not enough to cause any sort of a knockout or anything. Actually, it's a natural twenty for maximum damage. Um, I will. I will. Four points of damage and one point to calm. <laughs> gold is gold is high. That is a twenty-seven. That is not ten percent. So you you do not knock him out or. Do any other sort of uh, negative hampering. He just he just catches a bunch of wood in the face, and you are holding parts of a handle. So, <laughs> Is there any chance he was blinded by the splash? Absolutely not. Don't try and even do that. So, <laughs> well, I wanted to know if it was going to hurt me too. Now that I just thought about it. Well, it's going to hurt you because now all the thugs get to go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so the leader doesn't get to go. He's on the ground going. Ah, oh, God, I think I sustained a neck injury. <laughs> and the paladin's like, dude, please get up, because I really, really, oh, this is bad. <laughs> I want to finish this. <laughs> well, you get back on steroids? Was that it? Well, <laughs> sing my lay on hands ability here in just a second. <laughs> lay on hands. Okay, I'm up. Boom! <laughs> Thank you, gotta beat you now. Uh, number two is going to try to uh, punch the paladin. Oh, God, I, sw I swear I can't read my... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to need... I picked the wrong day to roll ice dice because I... Uh, 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 oh, yeah, hey, glasses work, and so does reflection of the oh, sun. Oh, God, I <laughs> <laughs> So that is an 18, and he clocks you right in the... You get clocked again, Aldonis, from the side. I know, you're used to it. Happens all the time. Alright, so plus two. So D2 plus two. You take three more points of damage. Okay. Blah! Uh, let's see, so... 
He just whiffed. That's number two, that's number three. Yep, and he's trying to, he's gonna punch you. Yep, negative five. Yeah, because, um... It's all know. my protection stuff. Shit. It's <coughs> armor. Huh. Well, I'll be dang. That's really going to, uh, wow. A 13 is not going to hit, but it looked really good. And he's going to do the same thing to you. He's trying to hit you. He's trying to hit you. A 14, that will not hit. He is going to power smash the, uh, who is that? That's Magnar, the, the cleric. Oh, the two clerics at the end of the table kind of hang out with each other. That's, that's cool. So he's going to punch at Magnar. Nope, seven's not even going to do it. Wow, is it? Uh, what's his, oh, his AC is not all that, all that good. Is it? I don't think so. His AC is a 10. Because he's just standing there. So actually, yes, that will that will hit. Monty, you take four points of damage from being punched in the face. Okay. Second guy... He also hits, and you take three points of damage from being punched in the face. Oh, man. Missed his vital spots. Havernman. Who has nothing? He's a 10 as well. Oh, God. Haverman gets punched in the face once and twice. Three times. Holy crap. I just got mauled. They like you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Haverman takes ten points of bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Yeah. Got forty nine points. Where is the bludgeoning? All right. That was that was very uncool. Um, one of these guys is stunned. Is that one stunned? Okay, so this one is going to um, overhand axe handle smash WWE style on this goddamn gnome. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh shit! So AC two. No, your AC is not two because you're not wearing plus two oh, leather. Okay. <laughs> you you are four. ten minus four. You are AC six. But an 18 does not save you. <laughs> oh, we're not basketball. Right. And you take three points of damage. You're going, bam, blam, blam. Let's think you're a tin man. Yeah. So you take three points of damage. You mean like putting it here, wherever, wherever you want, but you get beat on for three points of damage. This guy is, he's not going to be stunned, but he does not attack this round, because he's too busy adjusting his boys. Right. Going Mama, on, like, Mama, what in the world? That's not even remotely fair. Uh, this guy is, uh, he's, yeah, he's entangled. He's, so he is going to roll his a dex check to try and get the stupid cloak off of him. Before he gets a fist. Yeah. And a 19 is not going to do it. He is still entangled. He's like, oh, what wow. the blazes, man? Yeah, you got He thought that's not work here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. This guy is going to be on Ahira. He's like, eh, bring it, you big ugly dwarf. We got this. And... Uh, that might hit, depending on a hero's... Uh, seven. Is it really a seven? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> He's actually going to miss. Wow, that was one off. He's going to Take be... the punch on top of my head. <laughs> He's going to punch at a hero as well. And he gets a nine. That will hit. A hero, you take three points of damage. Now, smile. these three guys all beat on Civ. Mm -hmm. Why does that not surprise me at all? 
You're ugly. Because you're a big guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you got a 6 AC. So the first guy gets a 17. He's going to hit. Second guy, 17. He's going to hit. Third guy, 18. He's going to hit. Oh, man. Woo! 16. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Like you are me. 11. You take 11 points of damage there, buddy. They just all just go like... <coughs> they just... Rodney King. Yeah, yeah, dude, you are... You're like, but wait, I'm white! <laughs> Not anymore. Who are we? <laughs> yeah. Now you're rather black and blue. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah. these three guys right here. Yeah. Um, this guy is going to attack the uh, attack the mage. What's your effective AC? Your ten minus your dex modifier. Six. You have a minus four in your dex. No. No. It's a react. A minus one on my defense. Oh, okay. So your armor class is a nine, unless it's magically altered by something. I don't know. Well, oh, you're probably wearing your rings of protection. His base AC is what eight. Yeah. Do you have rings of protection? Yeah, but bases of defense. Oh yeah, you can wear those. So actually, you're at you're at your full AC. So six. Six. All right. Cool. <laughs> so he's going to punch you, and a two is not going to hit. This guy is going to try and put you, punch you, and a six tie goes to the defender. So he does not do any. He hits, but he doesn't do any damage. So it doesn't take off any tick marks off of your uh, stone skin. Because stone skin just, you, you roll a die and it's how many hits you can ignore. Okay, so did you already do that? No, it didn't tell me what, how many, how many hits I can roll for. It just states that all blows from a blunt are in Oh, it might have been second edition that, that did that. Right. Was it on our Falcon? Right. It says magic weapons can do damage. But I'm pretty much invulnerable to bludgeons. Yeah. Virtually immunity to any attack by cut, blow, projectile, and the like. Okay. But it states that if a monk's hand or an ogre's fist, it can inflict up to one to two. Okay. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't do any appreciable damage to you whatsoever. Right. So. All right, and this last, the last guy is going to hit Aldaris, since he's right next to the paladin. And a three is not going to do it. Wow. All right. That's it for all the bad guys. It is back to the top. Hey, wait a minute. No, yeah. Haverman is last. He got a one, thank you. Oh. <laughs> one. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Hey, at least you got a three. <laughs> and uh, he's going to attempt to punch one of the guys that's right in front of him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll say number eight. Sounds good. Let's do number eight. Why not? Uh, Fifteen. And he gets a fourteen, and he's actually going to hit. 1d2 plus two. So number eight is going to take three points of damage from being punched by the cleric. Doop. Okay. And then we go back up to the top. Zed on! Okay, I've got a quick question. Can affect creatures that have plus three or less to hit. Okay. That's to overcome damage resistance of creatures that require magic okay. items to hit that, them. That's... Yeah, you have a magical quality about you that lets okay. you affect creatures with non-magical weapons. Right. Which okay. means absolutely shit dunk here. Here. <laughs> okay, that's what I wanted to make sure of. So, we are going to reverse it. Two <laughs> hits on him, one hit on him. Okay. Try not to suck this time. Try not to suck. Natural 20. Oh, my goodness. Okay, just roll the attacks. Cause... 15. Okay. That guy may be in trouble. 11. 
for the third guy. Yeah. She don't want me to roll it. Ah, goody. <coughs> Double damage. This is going to hurt. Which number is is that? That's number three. That's number three? The one that already oh, took ten points. Yeah, he took ten points of damage. So he got hit twice, so we'll do the first one, which is double damage, which is off the die roll alone. Yeah, the strength doesn't get double. Okay, so that's six plus four is another ten points of damage, plus ten plus nine, nineteen points total. It's not six. It's a double damage for the natural twenty. Oh, you're trained hand to hand, so you actually are rolling a d6 of damage. Yes. Never mind. That's right. That's right. Okay. So that's ten there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, plus four. My apologies, seventeen points worth of damage for that hit. Those two hits. Okay. And then on number two. <laughs> Made it by two percent. Um, number three is uh, he's starting to show some blood and swelling and stuff, but he's still conscious and in this fight. Okay, cool. Number two took six points of damage. Number two took six. Okay. You are a whirling fist fury of 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 you know, punching the shit out of people. <laughs> I hear a. Look at the one that just, uh, yeah, make sure my microphone's on. Look at the one that just hit me, one fist into his shirt, and the other one using to propel him into his buddy. So you're going to try and punch him and then do, like, a push? Well, I'm going to use my uh, one hand to grab him, and then I'm going to use the other action to throw him into his buddy. Oh, okay, so you're going for a grapple, and then you're looking to just throw him into the other guy. Grapple. Yeah. Okay, so uh, in, in this is an even round, so you have two actions uh, for two actions yeah. for you, so that's completely possible. So uh, roll your... Uh, grapple first. Oh, so what's your... Yeah, well, you have to roll the grapple first. I'm just looking at your, your attack. Oh, it's uh, 13. All right, go for it. Twelve. That will grapple him. You are you, you you grab onto the front of his tunic or whatever you're looking to grab onto. Works for me, and then toss into his buddy. <laughs> Throw onto friend. Natural twenty. Go. Oh. Have Nick roll it. <clears throat> What'd you roll? Natural twenty. Oh. going to be really, there's no damage that gets inflicted on this one. <laughs> okay, so the guy that you grab onto, which one is it? Uh, 13, I guess. He's, right, he's yeah. the one that hit me. Be 13. So, number 13. Oh, 13. Yeah, 13 mm -hmm. gets grabbed and he gets swung into 15. 13 gets knocked right the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Automatically, he just—he's just like, bam! <laughs> and the other guy, um, number fourteen. Uh, yeah, number. Well, let me get that number thirteen. Is he is KO? Um. So number fourteen gets hit by a guy. So that's gonna be uh one D. It'll be. Yeah, it's 1d2 plus your strength modifier, and then add um, four more for this guy, for your uh, weight that you just hit him with. Ten. Ooh. Good. Oh, great. God. Googly moogly. Man, you threw that guy hard. <laughs> yeah, he got, he got, he got ran into, so. And a percentage there, and that is an ought six, so... He is not prone, and they, well, he, he is, number 14 is not prone. Cool. 
said, he's laying on his back with his buddy, taking a dirt nap on top of him. He's like, hey, <laughs> he just got used like a ballistic missile. And there's a hero. Ha, 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 next. <laughs> Teach you a few things about fighting dwarf style. Yeah. Cop nab. What did he hit you with? Well, he hit me with Fred. <laughs> hey, guys, is that guy still leaning forward a little bit? Oh, no, he is looking at you, and he is pissed. Uh, if you miss the ding ding, 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 Oh, actually, only fighters go up in number of attacks, not anyone else in fighter subclasses. So you still only have one attack. So, yeah, you can kick him in the shin, or if you want to draw further ire and try and kick him in the balls again. <laughs> Do that. Look, a I'm speed gonna try bag. To make him throw up this time. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Once you had up ass. I think he's about to shove my head up my ass. <laughs> no. Five on the die? Probably not. Uh, what are you trying to do? I'm going to punch him in the nuts again. Oh, okay. So, um, 19. Yeah, no, five's not going to do it, dude. Yeah, no, never mind. You need teens to yeah. to hit him, especially on a vital shot where he even gets to add plus two to his armor class. So, yeah, yeah. You t he saw your hand come back, and he went, he got like way out of range. And you're like, come on, well, man, that's, that's not fair. fair. <laughs> <laughs> right there, right there. Yeah. All yeah. Your head, he, he just reaches out, and puts his hand on your forehead. And you're just like, really, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you asshole. Uh, Siv. This time I won't skip you. It really is Siv this time. Oh, wait a minute. You're dead from impaling yourself in Asmodeus' staff. Uh... Don't die. Shut up. <laughs> Are you telling God to shut up? Okay. No, I'm not. Then... <laughs> wow, you have a lot to learn, young one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So my turn, right, right, right? Um, I don't know. How well at groveling for your actions or how good are you? <laughs> oh, please don't kill my character. Oh, great and mighty Keith. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll let you have a couple of actions. Yeah. <laughs> so can I just, like, kick him in the balls this time instead of trying to grab him? Um, you have two attacks open to you this round. It's an even round. Okay, so I'll punch him and then kick him. Punch him and kick him. Excellent. Um, roll twice, please. I rolled an 18 for the punch. Okay. And then I rolled a 16 for the kick. Excellent. Uh, and there's a penalty to hit with the kick. Because it's it's slower, you know. So, uh, but uh, you still you still hit. So it's going to be a one d two plus one and a one d three plus one. Uh, a one d two. Yes. Okay. Odds are two. Evens are one. Cut it in half. Yeah, or a d six. Cut it in the third. Ah, <laughs> uh, two damage. Or I rolled the two for the. Thing and then a D3. How am I going to do a D3? Roll a D3. Oh, cut him off. Roll a oh, that's D6 true. and divide by two. Or a D12. Four, four. And I got a two again. <laughs> so, three, uh, four, five, six points of damage total is what I'm hearing. What number is that that he's squaring off against? Uh, yeah, exactly. Which number? I think oh, it was the one directly in front of him. Yeah. So that's 13, 14, 15, 16. 16? So, so whatever you're rolling the die, you just subtract from this. Yeah. Natural AC. You want the water. You can't have the water. It's my water. Well, don't do that. You're getting negative AC. All right. Uh, 
Yeah. Manthug does not get an action. He is uh, too busy fighting to breathe. Adonis! Oh, okay. Just reverse. Oh, that works so good the first time. <laughs> Say what? I said that works so good the first time. <laughs> Let's okay. give it another world. <laughs> well, you're a paladin. You're a fight. You're you're still a fighter. You've got two guys that you can do. Number nineteen and number two. Uh, yeah. Number two, twice to the throat. You know, try and punch him. Right. All right. Go for it. Eighteen and an eleven. Yay! Even though I had All right, uh, D2 plus your strength bonus twice. Four. Four. Yeah, D2 plus one, yeah, twice. Four points? Yep. Number two. Seriously yeah, enough to you know, get anywhere in that. Right. Uh, and 75. Nowhere close. All right. You did not connect with the throat. You punched him twice in the head. He's <laughs> like, tonk, tonk. He's like, eh. oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks all happy. Uh, Senefe. Yeah, <laughs> you're a fighter subclass. You get two attacks. You want to punch him twice? Oh yeah. So you're are you, you're punching the guy who's in the cloak? Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. She's he's all, he's like, what is she doing? Ha! Motherfucker! He's like, God damn! <laughs> Is 14, and that's what you got. But you have effectively given him to you effectively put him in an armor class 10, so you need above a four. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so you you your first swing goes a little high, your second Get swing <laughs> it, it meets the side of his chest. So roll a d2 and add your strength damage, which Plus one. Oh, you got a plus one. So it's 1d2 plus one. Right, right on. Three points of damage. Who is that against again? Oh, it's against the guy who's all entangled. Who has taken no damage. So three points of damage. He just goes, a piece of paper. <laughs> Somebody threw a piece of paper on top of me. <laughs> oh, you don't have to go grab a mug. If I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for when the furniture is going to come into play. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> Uh, it's not a fight till something breaks. <laughs> Talazar! Hug! Hug already broke. I can't use the max spell as a, as a person. Flesh that. doesn't count. Push, can I? No. But a knock spell, if you cast a will, unlock all the doors and shutters and just shit, <laughs> shit <laughs> starts flying <laughs> open. Everybody's gonna go, what the? <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? All right. <laughs> He's amazed. He said, Don't need this. They were making a punch me to negative. Fuck you. <laughs> Okay. Um you activate your ring and and out and the two guys, yeah, they just kinda they just smile and you, and one of them just goes invisible. <laughs> and you're like um <laughs> I need to get out of here. Uh, Magnar! How close do you? Where were you? Where are you? <clears throat> okay. Did the guy pull back any at all? No. You didn't do any... He's standing right next to me? 
Yeah, you didn't do anything like really bad against him. I'm gonna whip the chair up and bust it on his head. <laughs> ah, we picked up chairs now. Oh, oh this is in that corner. No, that's me. Right. Yeah, no, that's no. Talazar is here. That's what we were asking. Right. He's at the end of the table now, trying to get underneath the table. So he's like, ah. Uh, I had enough of this. Magnar is going to pick up a chair and hit the guy with it. Oh boy, here it yep. Goes. Yep. All right. Then the chair, sock him in the head. Got a twelve. I can't do it when the wrong job. Uh. All right. Yes, a twelve is going is going to just barely hit, dude. Um. <laughs> I winged him. So it is a it is a chair, so it acts like a club. So it's one d four plus your uh, strength bonus, which you don't have any. Nope. Two. All right. Basically, yeah. I think I broke the chair even. Uh, which one is Magnar hitting up against? Where's Magnar? Uh. Magnar is this guy, so it's two, three, four, number five or six, basically. I think he was already. Oh no, number six is. Uh, look, no, no. Yeah, number six is the guy that you hit with the mud, so you're gonna hit him with the chair now. Yep. Chair, mud, table, piano, whatever I can. And your chair does not break. Good of not. You you just go like bam right in front of his face, and he's like oh. Jesus Christ, really? And you're like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> like, mental note, the beer bottle hurts worse when it doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> no, Magnar hits. All right, then it becomes the thug's turn. <coughs> oh, this ought to be fun because they're all trained fighters. This is a even round. Every thug gets two attacks. Oh, Christ. Hey, with a chair. These are not pushovers. Even though it might seem that the leader is a pussy because he went out from a paladin's punch. To the, he's like, you, sit down, bitch. Well, like, the paladin killed him. He's not dead. He's, he just, he, he is... He's, he's just he's having breathing dead. problems, that's all. Yeah, he's, he's on the ground unconscious and he's having problems breathing. And he's going to be really, really sore in the morning. So we won't be able to talk for a couple days. Right. Stop for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Right. So, number two is on the Paladin. Twice. Oh, there's a natural 20. Ow! And a four. It's not going to do it. Whoops! Five, that's two, that's six. Uh, Aldonis, you take eight points of damage from that well-placed punch to your nose. Ow. <laughs> I rolled triple damage on the crit die. Good Christ, what is on that? How many? I, want to see the I, rolled, I, I rolled triple damage on the crit dice. Double damage, triple damage, max damage. What was the damage again, sorry? Eight. Okay, it's starting to stack up. Clunk. Yeah, but it's really hard to 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 hit you. An eleven not gonna do it. A oh my god. A nineteen will. Six will not. And that is the other die. Oh boy. What did he get? Oh wow. Was that the epic fail die? Yes. Two, three, four. Number four? Mm hmm. Punch himself out? Yes! <laughs> he knocked his own off. I want to. Oh, what's on that one? I want to see that one too. Okay. Roll the one and you will. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, so, number four, he swings wildly at you, dude. And he, in, and he ends up sliding on some spilled ale. Clocks the side of his head on the side of the table, 
and he's out. <laughs> Thank Heronius. Oh, man, these are some nasty. You still take four points of damage from the first punch. That guy oh. goes, BOW! You're like, oh, oh, ah, uh, you, you murdered my puppet of skin. <laughs> Let's see, uh... Five and six. Yeah. And these are on our dwarf cleric. Oh, but... Who is that? Five and six. Yeah, they're, they're, o they're okay. So... A six will not hit them. Oh, that's a natural 20. Uh, a one. Get my dice! They're right there. They're there. And, oh, you know what? He doesn't get the second attack when he rolled his one. And he gets to roll damage against his buddy right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's like, stupid dwarf! Bah! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but I do have a natural 20 that uh, the first guy hit him with before he gets clocked by his buddy. <laughs> like, what about I got him. You got him, all right. I can see where those are dangerous. Oh! Oh no! Right now. Um. Yeah. Bum ba dum bum. Um. Yeah. Holy crap! Okay, so that's going to be interesting. Three. So, Magnar, you take three points of damage from being uh, punched. Okay. Are you there? I'm here. All right. I need you to uh, make me a save. Uh, it's your petrification and polymorph, so your base is a 10. What? So I need you to roll over a 10 on your saving throw. Uh, 11. 11. Okay. Um, he hit you really good in the side, and you felt probably one, if not two, of your ribs are in some serious pain. Not good. Okay, I'm going to lay down for a minute. Uh, that doesn't sound good at all. Right. He didn't break. He, you made your saving throw, so he didn't break yeah. your ribs, but you think you have some fractures. And he, you, uh, he's undivided tension when I get my when I get a win back. And you are minus two to hit on your hand to hand right now because your uh, your your ribs are are smoking, hurting right now, dude. I mean, that was he put a. Solid hit into your side. Oh, and then I have to roll damage for him to do damage to his buddy. I mean, his buddy actually punches him. That's kind of funny. Which one is it? Five did it? Um, it? Six punched five. So number five is the one taking damage. Yes. All right, and he takes... Three points of damage. Punk three. All right. So the guy who just broke, who just like tried to fracture your ribs, um, he gets clocked by his buddy. <laughs> you probably like that. Yeah, three attacks against Haverman. That's six attacks against Haverman. Mm -hmm. Dude, um, can someone come over and help out the cleric? He's about to get beat to death. This is. Uh, little help! <laughs> Is he within line of sight of me? Uh, he's right next to you. Well, I gotta know. That would be a good time for the guards to show up. <sighs> There's a miss, actually. That's a five. I don't think the guards come to this part of the town. Fourteen. I was afraid someone was gonna say 15. that. Fifteen. <laughs> I got up top too. Oh, that was a miss. It's okay, I'm clear, or it should be. Dang. Four hits. One, 
two, three, four, five, and that's eleven. So twenty-one. Hunterman's taken twenty-one points of damage, so that's actually a fifteen percent chance. Stun right now because he is getting there. 55, he is okay so far. Okay. Uh, these three guys beat me, uh, beat me. It's not yeah. um, um, Those who were on him. Right, but isn't. What numbers are those? 10 and 11. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and there's Four, nothing wrong with them. 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten and eleven. eleven. Yeah, ten and eleven are beaten on the gnome. Yeah, the one has bald thing, but it's, uh, yeah, they're they're, they're, that. they're they're not happy. I'm about to get buried. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not wearing your, and so your AC is it six. Yeah, it's a six. Unless you have magical, what's um, you don't have anything oh, have magical. Anything. Okay, so. Yeah, your armor class is a is a six. So four attacks, needing a six to hit ten. Six tie goes to the defender. The last guy gets a four and a thirteen. So you get hit twice. Clink clunk clank. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points of damage to you. So what does that put you total damage taken? Eleven. Eleven out of forty. Uh, yeah. Roll me a percent. And if you get under fifteen, you're going to be physically stunned from the amount of bruising damage you're taking. Okay. Not under fifteen. Right. So. You did good, little grasshopper. <laughs> They're like, good, stupid, sport. yeah, no boy. <laughs> He's like, stop, stop hitting me. Not the face, not the face. Yeah, not the face, not the face. Uh, thirteen is entangled. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. number twelve is entangled. Yeah, number twelve is entangled. So he's gonna roll a deck. He's gonna roll his decks. And a two. He throw. He is no longer entangled. Okay. He he take he 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 lifts up the the cloak and throws it down. He's just all like, "You bitch!" <laughs> like, ah, okay. And that's his that's his attack. Thirteen is knocked out. Right. Fourteen is prone. He's got his buddy on him. Right. So he's gonna spend this round not being prone. <coughs> that's all he can do. Right. He's, he's just all like. Take the guy, he's like, shove the guy off him. He's like, Bob, get up! Come on, we gotta fight this war! Bob, Bob, get up! Fucking Bob. <laughs> so he's gonna stand up in front of the dwarf and just go like, It's merely a scratch, bearded boy! And grin. <laughs> and then, um, what is that number? 15, these are all these guys, right? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, is that right? Yep. Yeah. So those three guys are all going to beat on Siv. Wow. Yay. Yeah, Siv, you're going to get beaten like a red-blooded stepchild. You have six oh. attacks coming in on you. Oh, I can take it. And that's, that's the way to do it. And they need sixes to hit. So first one is a seven. Then a nine. Then a seventeen. Then a 15, then 8, and 18. Dude, you just got butt mauled. <laughs> yeah, dude, he, he just got the. He, yeah. What was yeah. that, 5 out of 6? No, that he was all 6. Okay, I missed the one number then. 12. 13, I can take it. 13, totally take it. 14, yeah, 15, I've heard that before. <laughs> I can take it. Somebody's a toaster now. Uh, some, uh, some juice is now... <sighs> okay, that was 21 points of damage combined. Wow, you totally took it. <clears throat> well, you say that right now. How much total damage have you taken? 
Uh, I took 11, and then you said 21. Right. So I've taken 32. 32. Not quite half. You're right there, though. <laughs> so I need you to roll me a percentage, and if you roll under 30%, you are stunned. Well, imagine that. 25. <laughs> Good night, pre print. Mm -hmm. That was just a little bit too much for your body to take. You do not get an action your next turn. You are stunned. Yay. They Lovely. just beat you like you owe them money. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, these two guys are going are jumping ahead and going for grapples. Mage? Six. Okay, I I know you're invisible and everything, but still they're right. they're <laughs> Oh yeah, there there is. If they roll a hit, there's still a percentage, but uh for your invisibility. So the first guy Oh good. Okay. Hmm. Interesting how I'm gonna have to rule that. All right. Uh, the first guy, he went to dive, you know, to, to try and tackle you, but he's on top of the table. <laughs> he goes, Whoa! And lands on top of the table. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks spectacularly stupid. I, he's, he's like, I think he's right there. I think you're wrong. Yeah. But he just wiped out the big old plate of meat. It goes stowing all over the place. Ale goes everywhere. And the second guy, he gets he gets an eleven. That's not going to. Oh, what's your what's your AC again? Six? Oh, so actually he can hit with an 11. But, now he has a 50% chance of miss, which is a low, so if he gets over 50, he actually grapples you. Ot, three. Never mind. He grabs onto, he goes to grab onto you. You can feel it. He brushes by you, but and he grabs onto one of the table legs, and he's just like, ah! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Say what? <laughs> so effectively, uh, what is that? Seventeen and eight? No. No. See, your numbers are way different. You, 20, counting that guy one, really hurt. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. So it's eighteen and nineteen. So both of them are going to be prone because they like dived on top of stuff. And number twenty is hitting the paladin with his two attacks. He gets an eight. He needs a six to hit and an eighteen. So he hits twice. Four, five. Six points of damage, Aldonis, from being punched twice. Mm-hmm. How much total damage does that put you at? Thirty. Four. Okay, roll me a percent, please. Don't get below thirty. There it is. Fifty-nine. There you go. You take it in style, you stud. <laughs> Maybe I well, shouldn't put it that way. Um, well, all that, yeah. <laughs> okay, and...
Everman. Oh God. He's like, um, um. Heal, bitch. Heal. <laughs> Heal. Shit. <laughs> Oh, so number eight he was punching, so number eight he's going to try and punch again. Nineteen will hit. Hot dog. That looked great. That's awesome. I don't think I do that much damage. Oh, wow. He's got plus two damage on it. Ah, damn! Oh, he got, he's got an 18 strength. Our gleam of focus is quite stuck in the muscle department, it looks like. I didn't realize he had an 18 strength. That's freaking stupid. That, that boy could punch you dead in the face and it'd make it hurt, man. It'd make it hurt real good. Yeah. And he does three more points of damage. Two, four, eight. Eight. Six. Yay! And then back up to the top on an odd round is Zedon again! <sighs> who all's gonna get? All three on three. That's who I've been do doing damage with, so. On number three? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's not looking. He's, I mean, yeah, he's, he's not looking good at all. Fifteen? Yeah. Eight? Yeah. Seven? Yeah. Okay. This could, this could be just painful. Twelve, twenty-seven. How much? Twenty-seven. Shh. Um, he is out very much. He, he crumples like a little itty-bitty rag, rag doll. Yeah. Two, three, yeah. Put him on a six, so. <coughs> You just you just put three rabbit punches in his face and he's just like <laughs> and, just and the lights go out all over the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was Greg's line. Yeah, knock the F out. Um Ahira Oh yeah. I hear you. Drop shoulder down and bull rush into the one that stood back up. So who is it? Uh, uh, oh, okay, that's number six. That's, not, that's number 13, so that'll be number 14 that he's doing that to. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, all right, take your, take your attack. Roll it. Twelve. Yeah, twelve is, twelve is good enough. So were you actually striking, or were you just rolling for a knock? Were you just going for the knockdown? I'm just going to knock him flying. Ah, very nice. Pinball mode. Whoops. Damn it, Greg. Can you get my dice right at your left foot there? You're stepping all over like no, a cow I'm trop. Moving, I'm moving it. <laughs> all right. So you're okay to touch my dice if it rolled near. <laughs> <laughs> One. Okay, so he gets picked up and shoved to meet Mr. Floor. So it's Stay a down. D4 plus your strength modifier. And he's prone. Seven. And he's prone again. <laughs> he's like, hey, you are. Oh! God damn it! <laughs> I hate fighting dwarves. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, Cobnab! I'm just gonna throw a punch, see what happens. <laughs> throw a punch? What happened to getting underneath the table and. Attack of opportunity! There's, Attack of There's no such thing as attack of opportunity here. Oh, is it? No, you can move away from enemies at your leisure. You can't move through them. Trying to move past him? No. 
getting away from him like underneath the table and going somewhere else? Sure. I'm going to the table. Hopefully I don't trip over him. <laughs> on the other side. Yeah, he's all the way on the other side of the table. He's over here. You're, you're way over here. So you, you just, you go on your belly and just scooch backward. <laughs> you're like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Put your cloak over your head and go, I am a floor. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I just sit there, nobody will notice a rock in the middle of the room. <laughs> well, you have all the, these... The elven clothes. Yeah, you have... What is it? Well, cloak. you do this very... Quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloak of elven kind. So, yeah, you just... You slide underneath the table and just go, I'm not here. And you just, like, melt into the floor. <laughs> we'll call you now, hard. see, now is where the thieving abilities come in. If you catch, if you punch one of these guys, and they don't notice you, then you get to add, then you get to do like your backstab. Triple, triple damage. Or yeah. yeah. Sweet, I can aim for six damage. <laughs> but if you call a vital strike, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me punch. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's in blood for weeks. Yeah, backstab. You do, yeah, I'll give you a plus four to hit, and you do triple the amount of damage. Which, you know, hey, don't don't turn down triple damage. Oh, no, I'm not going to turn down triple oh. damage. Mm. Plus four to hit. Right. Yeah, another plus four to hit. It's not bad. So, you, you disappear. Those two guys are like, oh, man. <laughs> Great. Hammerman's not happy about that. Will you get up here foot? No, nah, man. <laughs> You're not getting the shit kicked out of me. This is stupid. Uh, Sib. Yeah. Rummage, rummage, rummage. It is your turn. You have one attack, sir. I thought I didn't have any attacks. Uh, he's stunned. Oh, he's stunned. Okay. Uh, you are no longer stunned, and we move on. <laughs> Aldonis! The lay on hands get rid of the dual damage. He's going to give himself the good touch. You're, you're going to heal yourself of the good touch. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Why not? <laughs> no, you're going to gain 16 hit points back. Yep. You're like, ah. Oh. I like the good touch. <laughs> Sniffy! <laughs> what is that? Chair. Yeah, uh, pick up a chair and hit the hit hit a guy in front of you. Who are you hitting? This one that just came untangled. Oh yeah, the guy who just began. Let's see, what is that number twelve? Yep. All right. Thirteen. Smash! All right, roll a D four and add your strength modifier. Five. All right. Five points of chair damage to that guy. Nice. Very nice. No, the chair does not break. <laughs> Just, <laughs> you hit him with the whole chair and... They have good chairs here. They got sick of replacing them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy. Um... Talazir! <laughs> okay, so this is effectively a round. It says there's 10 segments in a round. How does that work for casting? Like 10 you know, segments in a round? That's what it says. Whatever, yeah, that, that it is. There's okay. 10 segments in a round. So Whatever the number of segments is, is how long and in, in, where in the round it takes place. So if someone has an initiative that goes before the segments, then they could tag you before you complete the spell. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, man, that could be a complicated spell. Yeah. And if you start casting a spell, you become instantly visible. Right. So if you start casting, at least probably the guy who's underneath the table making love to the table leg is going to see you. 
Like I've been doing it behind the bar. And how is he going to get behind the, the bar? Table. Could yes. Oh, okay. Could I move out away from the table? Yeah. Hmm. I would say that if you want to make that movement, there is a 25% chance that you could get stopped by flailing legs and stuff like that. Because if you get touched, you become visible. Take it, take it. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, roll it. Don't roll under a 25. If you roll under a 25, you get... You, you can't make it past. What? Oh, you witness. 40. Oh, okay. So, how far do you want to move? To the bar. You're like, ah! Okay, well, the... <clears throat> Well, yeah, I thought the bar was over The bar over here? Is that what we're going to say? Okay, so the bar is over here. So he, so he goes, ah! No, I just want to see the witness. Okay, so front door's here, bar's over here. You you run out and just go, ah! <laughs> and you get behind the bar. <laughs> You're like, later, suckers! <laughs> Abandoned me under the table. No, you probably won't. Those two guys are out. Ah, and Magnar. Mm okay. I know you're thinking about casting a fireball, but oh, dude, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. Better on I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you will not be in the most friendliest of graces of everyone. Oh, I know better. Than yeah. All right. Lay arm on rib, deal rib, cure life. However. <sighs> so you want to do cure light wounds on yourself? Yep. Uh, look up the number of segments it takes to do a cure light. Because these, these thugs go next. They could probably punch you before your spell goes off. Cure light? Yeah. Player's handbook. So it goes off in segment five, and there initiative is a three minus seven. That is, or three minus ten. That's a seven. Oh, so you will actually be able to get that off on yourself. Three plus one. So yeah, you can cast a cure light wounds, but cure light wounds does not is not powerful enough to mend fractures. That's what I thought. I wasn't sure about that one. No. So if that's the case, then... Uh, do I have anything I can drink? Yes. Would it be, um, can I, do I have enough time to drink a potion of healing? Uh, activating a healing potion... Sorry. Because I'm not going to have time to bait to bait. Well, either that or tap myself with a rod. I don't know it would be faster. Well, to to be fair, uh, all your healing potions are going to be with your equipment, more than likely, because they're in backpacks and stuff. Yeah, that's true. I mean, what, what about and a rod too big to stuff down a boot? A rod can be taken as a as a uh, uh, piece of magic using equipment, so no, you would not be allowed to carry that. Like I said, too big. So all I can do is just spell. I can try to do cure light. That's all I got. Well, it'll give you some hit points back, basically. Yep, that's all I can do. But it's not gonna it's not gonna help you with the uh, uh, fractured, you know ribs. yeah fractured ribs. <laughs> I got some of this guy when I get my chance. So you're you're, you're gonna cast cure light on yourself? That's all I got. All right, good enough. Uh, let's see. Number two can it's, punch the paladin. It's a D eight plus one. I believe so. 
You've got the book. Uh, if you look it up. I know. Is that what it says? Cure light. Cure light. What do you want? The uh, segments? No. If you no, 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 no. Dude, how much it cures? Oh, it's just one d eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, one d eight. No plus one, just one d eight. Six points. I'm good. So. I'll help you. Aldaris, that guy misses you. So number three and four are both unconscious. Number five, or five, so five and six are hitting our cleric. Yes. So number five punches the cleric. The dwarf, number six, misses. So you take four more points of damage, Monty. All right. I just killed six and I'm down four more. Ha <laughs> ha. Good. Yeah, isn't that worth it, too? Right. Uh, that was five and... That was five and six. Yeah. Five and six, right? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. I get to get beat up, beat down to death. I might have to start curing myself here. <laughs> this is going to be... This is, this is painful. I am... Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And he, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, knocked out. Knocked himself he, he out. He knocked again. himself out. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to fight, they're doing it for us. Yeah, which one is that? Number, that's uh, six. Number six, I believe, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So number, no, that's number seven. Seven, yeah. Number seven. seven. Number seven. Okay, number seven. So number seven takes a wild, wild swing and ends up clocking him, clocking himself on a support pole. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> He's like, ah! <laughs> and so I've got number eight and nine that are still on me. Number eight. What you rolling? Another one. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome! And he. Hmm. Oh yeah, that, that that's that's right. Um, he got he got mad and tried to dive uh, dive forward to looks like he was going to do a tackle, and he ends up on top of the table prone. And he's like, <coughs> stupid priest. And can, am I three for three? No. Wow, that's a one, but that has a plus sign next to it, so that's an eleven. So he clocks me. My ice dice are rolling ones, Chris. I hear that. And I take three more points. Haverman takes three more points of damage. 24. Unfortunately, all this damage is still a percentage chance to stun me. This really sucks. So I need to not roll under a 30 right now. And that is a 74. That is not a... At least he's... At least he's into it. He's like, yeah, yeah. What you got? Is that all you got? <laughs> <laughs> so now we're over to number ten. Oh, number ten, eleven. Um. Yeah, number number ten is like. Smacks the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, my, Esteban. Appreciate it. My bad. Prick. <laughs> God damn it. Shit! <laughs> and Heavenman is now going to take uh, another three points of damage. Fucking gnomes. I just, you know, I'm. I've had my. I've had my fill of these. It's all your fault, the Doris. God, I'm yep. fifty percent now. That freaking sucks. So now, we have forty percent chance, and that is a fifty-six. Thank God. Good gravy train. All right. Um. Yeah, yeah. This guy's like, well, he's not even there. Oh man, this fucking bitch right here. So, these two guys are clocking her. I just need to hit her. 16 and a 17. 
seven. Both of them hit. So four, five, six, <coughs> seven points of damage. Greg? Okay. Hey! You hit me! Oh, yeah? Well, what are you doing? You hit like a girl! <laughs> <laughs> Just to do negative off. <laughs> I've been hit harder by wild boars! Come on, pussies! <laughs> yeah, yeah, good good job. See, he's out. Isn't he's prone, I believe, yes, he right? Is. Yeah, I can't tell he's prone. We've got fourteen. But he yeah, that's number fourteen stands right back up again. He's like, alright, dwarf. <laughs> Just grin at him. Number 15 tries to punch the dwarf. Which one? Uh, the fighter. The fighter. And he is ah. and he is going to successfully punch Ahira. Uh, just one of his attacks to stand up and the other one to pop, pop me one, huh? No. No, you have another guy that's right there who's attacking you. Oh, he turned off of someone else? Yes. Okay. Because you're picking up his buddies and throwing him, and he's moving over to help out, so... He's all like, no, 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 no. So the other guy, he, he ends up hitting you, and... Did we lose someone? What the heck was all that? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, so, uh, and so he, you get clocked for four points of damage. Just keep smiling. <laughs> 16, 17. 16 and 17 are going up against Civ. So they're both going to punch him. Uh, that guy will miss. Oh, and that guy will miss. All right, then. 18 and 19 are both prone. One guy's on top of the table, so he is going to have to just climb her off the table and just go like, where'd the mage go? All right, fine, I'll go beat on that guy. <laughs> Yeah, Siv. So he's going to try and punch Siv. Oh, Siv, you've been punched. whoop de doo I can take it. And three points of damage, please. Okay. What does that put uh, you? 35. So... Out of 65. Yep, don't roll under a 30 for the stun this time. <laughs> oh, I have to do it again? Really? Every time you take damage... You're, you're getting close to half your uh, hit points. Your body is starting to say, there's only so much bruising we can take. Yeah. Like, Ot three. Right? Yeah. yeah. Ot three. You are stunned again. <laughs> well, I guess I'm basically a tank now. That's about it. <laughs> hey, welcome to the party. Just just stand there and get beat down, big guy. That, that's what it, that's what it I'll is. I'll you in a minute. Let's see, and then number 19 is like, well, what the blazes, man? And he's going to step in to try and, oh no, he's got to stop hugging the table leg and stand up, and then he'll look at the paladin, but he doesn't have an attack option. And number 20 goes to punch the paladin. Punching paladin sounds like a great idea. He gets a 10, that's going to hit. And three points of damage, Chris. All right. Where does that put you for total damage? 17, sorry. Yeah, 17. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't even... You're not at the point of making stun rolls yet. You're, you're okay. Yeah, it helps out. Ah, uh, Haverman, who's... I got four guys on me. All because of that stupid little big ass nose peck fucker. Um, I mean, squirty little <laughs> bastard. Ah, uh, this is why we should not elect heathenistic. All right, fine, fine, fine. I will deal with the hand that I've been dealt with. <laughs> Man, <I'm wrong. laughs> Got better magic items, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Is that how it is? <laughs> sure seem whiny. No, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Number eight, you're going to try and punch again. Oh, number eight is prone. Huh, I guess I'm not going to punch number eight. I guess I'll go after number nine. And an 18 will hit. Round. D6 plus one. Plus two, sorry. Oh, right on. Four points of damage to number nine. Smack. Okay, back up to the top, which is an odd round for everyone. Yay! The Yay. fighters the fighters love odd rounds. <laughs> so Zenon, except Zenon, he has three attacks every round due to his martial arts. Three on two. <laughs> just gonna just Oh, it's on take Excuse me, out. Mr. Paladin, let me knock this guy out for you. Let's that or flush off to the right. But whatever you want to do, man. I mean, he'd probably flush out to the right. Oh, he wouldn't help out the paladin. Actually, he probably would. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. He loves battle anyway. Well, a minute. And I already started attacking him before, so. Okay. Three on two. Three on two. All right. Roll it. Eighteen. Okay. Five. Nineteen. That that five still hits. Did hit. Okay. Oh yeah. Did what's hit. your what's your tackle with your unarmed? Oh, uh, twelve. Oh. Oh, wait, no, five does not hit. You need a six. Yeah. Okay. So you hit twice. Yep. To number two? Yep. Fourteen. Ugh. Well, now he has to roll a stun, because he's, he, he's, he's hurting. At one! Good night! <laughs> Done. Done! All right. All right, Dane. Uh, put number two on 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 a six number because he is out. <laughs> He's like, ah. <laughs> there you go, Chris. I cleared one for you. There you go. I just start working my way this way. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Right down the line. Ding, ding, ding. Man, if we had to leave, someone <laughs> needs to come up with that. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. How long did I say it was going to take for someone to say that, Chris? <laughs> well, see, it still wouldn't count anyway because you're just knocking them out. Not them. <laughs> All right. That was then on. I hear Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> number 14 gets the same treatment as number 13 got. Grab by shirt, throw into 15. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for the grapple. The grapple got a 12. Uh, what is your... Yeah, yeah, 12 will hit. Yep, 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 yep. And the toss got a 16. Nice. <laughs> that was number 14. I mean, I'd be in trouble. So roll me a, it's a D4 plus your strength modifier to number 15. Eight. And actually it's the same damage to number 14. Eight? Oh my Eight. gosh. Let's see, so number 14. Oh, hot three. He is stunned this round. Yay. And he's prone. Number 15 needs to make a dex check. And a 17 will not do it, so he is prone. Okay. <clears throat> There's two less guys who will be attacking uh, next, this round. Dwarves cheat. <laughs> We play to our strengths. Low center of gravity, high ability to throw things. He appears to be 30. Actually, I do need to change his age on it. He's a little bit older. Uh, here, uh, he appears to be 39. Cobnab! Uh, Are we going to appear from someone underneath the table and just crunch stomp someone? <laughs> Yeah, probably. Let's see. How about helping the guy who you abandoned, you? Oh, shit. 
<laughs> I don't think I can make it that far. Yeah, you can. You have yeah, 120 okay. feet of movement. Oh, okay. I get around this room once and we're done. I guess I could come around and get this guy. <laughs> Where are you? No, you just come up and just appear right there and just smash him. Give him a butt punch. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you've already. It's a, it's an unseen attack, so he it, it's it's the same as a backstab, dude. Yeah. Might as well go for it. So what's right. your what's your base psycho? So it's nineteen, but nineteen plus your strength to hit, which you don't have any. So then take off four for the backstab. Which is a fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So you need a nine. Or higher. Or above. Above. Yeah. You need a nine or above. Yeah, there we go. There you go. So you do 1d2 times 3 plus nothing, right? I don't know how to do that. Okay. So it's a 1d2 times 3. Yeah. <laughs> 3. Three. Yeah, Three. Three. Well, I, I thought I was kind of hoping it'd be much more spectacular. Than yeah. <laughs> Go. Which which <laughs> number is that? Uh, the one that you talked in the. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna go back to the same guy. Punch the that one. Ten. Number ten. No, he. I thought it was number ten thing. has not been hit before. Oh, it's eleven. No, mm. eleven's over here now. That one shifted over. Yeah. This one shifted this way. So if you popped on that one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So number ten. Yeah. To eleven shifted onto her. Oh, okay. Took six. He took six points of uh, of damage. Okay. Uh, oh, was that doing the whole vital strike? Or were you trying to do yeah, the vital well, strike? I was trying to. So okay, so that would stuff. turn it into a that you would need an eleven to hit. I rolled an eighteen. Oh, okay. No, it was just the amount of damage. Yeah. Right. So you you end up three points of. Oh Bottle boy. Damage. So you have a 16% chance of causing a stun because of uh, your vial and the damage that the damage that you rolled. 98. Yeah. He's like, "Oh, hey, there he is." <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> then he goes flying tackle. <laughs> flying butt players. <laughs> and Siv. Oh, he's stunned. We'll skip him again. Chill out. Sid, you need to stop getting stunned. Apparently. Quit sucking. Yeah. Oh, Aldonis! <laughs> My two attacks. I'm assuming there's still one in nope. front of me since one guy just got hammered. You're next. Oh. You're after all Actually, you still have two in front of you. Yeah. I know. 19 okay. and 18. Right, right. 19 and 18, yeah. One shifted over. That's why you have two again. The the magic user at number 18 was fighting, uh, lost track of the magic user, so now he's beating on you. So you have two targets on you. Okay. So 19 twice to the throat. First roll is 13. Second roll is a 17. Okay. Roll damage, both hits. Five. Held five points of damage. That's going to cause a 15% chance. Hey! And that is a 14. Hey! So, number 19 is stunned. Stun, 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 stun. Smash, boom, crash. Things going flying everywhere. Things getting knocked out. That's, that's brilliant. Sounds like a Saturday night. Speak into the mic. Sounds like Sounds a Saturday, like a night. Saturday night. <laughs> right. Uh, Sanefe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whack, whack. <laughs> I would take both attacks on one guy if I was you. You need to stack damage to really 
hurt anyone. <laughs> That's when you've been doing damage. Right. So, is it number 12? 12. Oh, yeah, number number 12 is the one she's been... Yeah, yeah he's taking 8 points of damage. So... Uh, the chair. Oh, oh yeah, you have the chair, huh? All right, so you hit him twice with the chair. Yeah. Hi oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, didn't hit him with what? What time? Two. two. Oh yeah, the two is horrible. All right. Um. Uh, yep. One d four plus your uh, strength bonus. Three. Three points of damage. Okay. And your chair splinters. Smash! You can still be holding on to like kung fu like batons, the table leg. Ah! Yeah, you can still use those as like a beat stick. <laughs> no. And. Talazar! Or tell is how am I am I saying it right? Bowser. Oh, okay. You. <laughs> Bowser. Yeah. Fireball. There. Uh, there's good. Uh, they become my junk club. Any you got today? Are we trying not to kill these people? Well, not no much. one's died technically yet, but you know. I couldn't happen. Kill killing anyone would probably send you to jail for a very long time. This is just a big brawl, is what it looks like. Okay, I'm behind the bar. I'm going to... Set a whiskey bottle on fire and throw it at the dwarf? Molotov. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the dwarves may not appreciate that. I know, right? Beers go up and I get targeted. Yeah! <laughs> you get instant aggro. <laughs> He's uh, burning the beer. Come on, with me. Down behind the bar, keep. I'm gonna cast mirror image. You can create create multiples of you in case you get attacked, huh? Yep. Okay. And four. I create three more of me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Multi man. He's making sure that he's not going to get touched. He's just like, no, no, everyone, bite me. <laughs> okay, uh, Magnar. <laughs> All righty. How many? Who's getting mobbed the minute that's near me? Uh, you. <laughs> Aside from me. You have two that are on you. All right, I'm going to get rid of one the hard way. Okay. Uh. <coughs> uh, okay, just to remind you, if they, if they, uh, you're going to be using a magic item, if they complain to the watch that you are caught using magic, you get to go to jail. Term is being caught. I'm just letting you know. All they have to do is just say that uh, you were that you did that you used magic. And well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna call no because you are lawful good, sir. Okay, I can handle that. Beat him with the chair. Beat him with the chair. There we go. So failed. Grab his chair. Yeah. All right, roll. Natural, finally. Natural one? Okay, who do you want to uh, roll the <coughs> critical Natural fumble die? Natural 20. Oh. <laughs> Who's going to roll your die for you? Nick. Double damage. All right. So, uh, 1d4 doubled. 4 
on. So is is that already doubled? That is doubled. All right. Okay. Oh, Not nah, yeah, I know. What number is that? Which one is he? One, Here? Two. Yeah. Five or six. He was beating on six. Yeah, he's beating on six, so. And it'd be six. Okay. So four, huh? <clears throat> Tell me about it. Ah, uh, he gets an odd seven, so he crumples to the floor stunned. <clears throat> Is the chair still hold its own? Oh no, that chair splintered into all kinds of pieces underneath that attack. Okay, pick up the next chair. Alright, the uh... The rest of the thugs are looking out and seeing that they've got their leader down. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like ten guys who are either knocked out or stunned, and they're all over the, they're, you know, laying down and stuff. Uh, the rest of them, uh, they stop punching and, and everything, and they, and they start collecting up their, their guys and start heading out. Yelling things like, you're so lucky, and, you know. Now I'm trying to grab the leader. The coulda, shoulda, woulda. <laughs> How are you going to grab the leader? If I have to get across the table or something. And why are you going to do that? To make him pay for it. Mm -hmm. He's unconscious. And remember That's nice. Right. Okay. Remember your alignment. I'll sit on him. What's his alignment? Right. Everyone. Yeah, somebody, something of good. You're not going to go over there and see his face in? Nope. I just wanted to sit on him so he could bring him top. Not that it matters. No, but it's, well, there's also a mutual right. understanding that the fight is over. Right. Quarter, they're right. basically asking for quarter. Aldonis, are you there? I'm here. All right. So they're, they're canceling the fight. Okay. Yeah, 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 go on. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're they're gathering up their guys and they're they're heading out. The doors open up and they start heading out. Uh, a couple of rounds later, the uh, well five rounds after these guys leave, the uh, <clears throat> the. Some of the guards start coming in, and they really don't. They just kind of take, uh, they, you might want to. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, by the time they're leaving, I'm going to pick up a go. <laughs> yeah, you're like, uh, there was no magic in here. Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope. I'm not soft. <laughs> <laughs> you, what are you doing behind the bar? I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm drinking, I'm drinking. Roll your constitution. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, yeah, you need to roll under your constitution oh, to handle this swig. Uh, oh, no. What's Where your con? Oh, it's a 14. Oh, okay, so roll underneath it. Okay. You'll be okay. What, natural 20? Nine. Nine, okay. It doesn't taste good at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You're just like, oh, really? I got to stomach this? So. Yeah. I said pod scum. Yeah. The the watch comes in, and as long as no one has been killed and or brandished weapons, which is no story of such, they just kind of break up the break up the fights and just kind of say, "All right, that's it, get out." Yeah, we. And send you guys on your merry way. You guys get evicted from the from the the place. Oh, I don't want that. Bar, bar, barkeep comes out and he just says, "They're all gone." And the city watch says, "You guys hit the streets. You're out of here." Really? Oh, that was fun! That's great. Wow! Yeah. They Not even enough to work up a, lot, a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'll just walk up to you. You don't get out of the house much, do you? <laughs> no, she is out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> go, what do you think? I go, yeah, did you see that? Boy, you see the way I cut kitchen She's not talking to any of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I forgot to, I, I forgot, I forgot to do that. 
crazy? Why is she talking to herself, man? No, 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 no. Let me run the story, thank you. I'm just pointing out what I do to make myself look good. Oh, well, oh yeah, she. That did. certainly was a bust. <sighs> okay. I wonder who they got to write the letter. Because none of them could sure as heck read or write. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's, wow, that's sad but true. Um, <laughs> I heard about these things. Yeah, that was my first one. So we, so we all go back to basically our room. Uh, there are some of us, I'm sure, that are sporting some major welts. <laughs> yeah, hurting ribs and so on. Oh, yeah. Haverman has got some black and blue marks on his the side of his head and stuff. He's like, ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh, baby, be quiet. I take two of those and go to the grocery store. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. So that morning, Chris, uh, there is another note that comes to you, or to the group. Okay. It has been sent out. I'm listening. Uh, check your phone. My phone? Yeah, I, I, sent, I sent out another, I, I took a picture and sent another note. Some more people? Are you serious? <laughs> right? Sounds like a bar crawl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> we'll make it to the end of the earth. I'm bringing my own wine. <laughs> <laughs> Ahira has no problem with this. <laughs> they interrupted dinner, too. That was dinner? That was dinner? <laughs> A lot of fuel to keep such a fine machine working. No, Where did you start feeding him the trash? Yeah. yeah. Haverman Hav goes. He, he goes to bed. He goes to bed the night before, and he's like, "Cast serious wounds. <laughs> cure serious wounds. Cure serious wounds. <laughs> Ow, my face. Oh, my face. My face." And yeah, it's gonna take uh, cure serious wounds to uh, uh, help you out with your uh, cracked ribs and everything there. I gotta uh, get my, my pack then. I don't have that spell. What do you mean you don't have that spell? It's a fourth level spell. That's what I said. I don't have that spell. It's a fourth it's level spell. spell. You get. You have access to it. Spell. You just get. No, you forget it. You're a cleric and did not memorize that? No, I did not. You need to have a conversation. <laughs> it's not like third edition, man. Yeah, you no, can't. Oh, God. Not anymore. Well, the thing is, he does have a healing stick, so I see where he's going with this. He's choosing some fourth-level spells that'll help him out, and he's going to use his healing stick to uh, to do hit points. Give himself what the plan point. was. Because he has a rod of life that basically has got a bunch of charges for uh, healing. Uh, those two sentences did not connect too well together. The rod of life. The oh, rod said, of life. I said he's got a, he's got a So everyone can take off all the... Rod of life. Everyone can take off all the bruising damage that they took. Uh, that's uh, that's all gone in the morning. Okay. You know, uh, any sort of lingering effects, like, uh, you know, the, the clerics can take care of... Actually, I don't think anyone else really got beat down or suffered any major bruising or anything. <laughs> Except Haverman, he's all like, my goodness gracious, are you kidding me? I got hit a lot. <laughs> that was ridiculous. What do you mean? What do you mean? 
I'm looking right at you guys. <laughs> oh, I got him in the nuts. <laughs> that was cool. I saw that. Maybe so, Aldonis, what's the uh, what's the verdict? Well, we're going to get up in the morning. We're going to have breakfast. We're going to go find a place in the court, and we're going to start our drill, and then we're going to go break up, and we're going to have some conversation. We'll have some lunch. We'll kind of goof off for the afternoon, and we're going to go to the uh, meeting this evening at the Sword and Hammer. That's <laughs> uh, a hammer and sword. The Sword and Hammer is kind of a much rougher version. <laughs> well... Whichever it is, I'm still I'm still seeing a little sideways this morning. It's all right. It's not a problem. Oh. Oh. Well, Chris, when we're out there for our drills, I'm out there doing my drills. One time can be a mistake. The next time I'm going to find whoever is writing me these notes, I'm going to stick it up their butt on fire. <laughs> Wait till we leave. Grammy says I gotta wear this while I'm in the city. I wanna get out of this stuff. Well, of course you wanna get out of your clothes. Why don't you go jump the L for a little while? Show him what for. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you little tramp. You stink. <laughs> hey, new procedure though. I, I have to admit that <clears throat> my bravado got us into a little bit of trouble there. From henceforward. We shall have a corner with the fighters on the outside of the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a new operating procedure. <laughs> okay, so okay. I, so that night, you guys go to the hammer, the hammer and sword. It is peaceful and serene. There's hardly anyone there. The food is actually pretty decent because this is not in a common area. Okay? This is actually the the hammer and sword is like a mercenary house. So it's an adventurous place. So they they've got decent food for, you know, a, a reasonable price and unless Not you're a thief. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man. Sit down and don't order anything. We got this. <laughs> this, is like, this is a good platter. This is So they nice. they uh they they bring out there's uh it's actually cooked, you know, like, uh, they'll actually bring out, like, uh, turkey legs, chicken, you know, ribs. I mean, it's it's decent decent food, some mutton, uh, vegetable stew. And when are we going to get to go to a Rudy's? <laughs> so, Girl, and the, and the bread is, the bread is not burnt. It's actually, it looks like it's oven baked. And there's actually and there's actually like some biscuits. They made biscuits, stuff like that. So, I mean, there's there's good here, and the ale actually tastes good. No. And they do have some moderately cheap wine, but it's wine nonetheless. They got a water skin, or a Avion or something like that, or what? Fuji water. Well, yeah. they'll, they'll serve you some water, yeah. They melt some ice in a cup and give it to you. <laughs> With ice. When she gets the vegetable stew, she's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you need now is some meat in your mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah, she just starts cussing out loud for no reason. Wow. You ain't really? meat in the mouth. Well, I'm trying to tell you, I never want, I never put that stuff in the mouth. And quick sending me those images. I can't, I don't like that. That's nasty. This is so good. Feels so good. Just staring at the half elf. <laughs> right. No, she's a full elf. It's a high elf. So, uh, half elf, full elf, she's crazy. Half no, with half elf, he's elf. scary. Oh, you're gray elf. He's royalty elf. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then she'll look over at him and go like, eh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, okay. You yeah. know you want to bone him. Sit in his lap and grind your stuff right there. Let's do it. Oh. Uh, I'm not going to grind nothing on him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, 
Is this Greg's a- ancestors talking to him, or is it like some kind of possessed item and Greg hears voices <laughs> on another character? Hey, it's a background role, and I can't tell you that. Oh, good lord. So, so the high elf is just going on like she's talking to someone? Yes. Another one of Greg's characters that hears voices. Yep. Wonderful. I didn't, I, I didn't Just it. wonderful. <laughs> Harry Just Hilton teams number are, two. <laughs> Harry <laughs> Hilton number two. Yeah, version 2.0. After about 20 minutes, the doors bust open and a bunch of thugs come walking in. One of them is a big old tattooed like thug. They have like a wrapping around his uh, collar and he points right at your group and goes, Yes, those guys, they shot down the Tanner flag! <laughs> 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 I'm dead serious. I have to. <laughs> yeah, so he's but like. Off from the table. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <he's, laughs> uh, you serious? Uh, corner, yes. Corner to Is there back? Yeah, yeah. He comes in. He's like, boys, get them doors and close down the counter flag. Let's let's teach him another lesson. Uh, <laughs> That's the best thing. How about we How about we all bulldoze outside and then beat up out there? We you know we're not gonna hurt the. Although you see, this time this time we have a significant tactical advantage. <laughs> right, right. Can I help out here real quick? She's just on the table. That's it. Oh, yeah, but, no, 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 are back, and he goes, back for some more. I'm going to get caught, but oh, well, I'm going to do invisibility turn foot. You're probably going to go to jail since there's other patrons still in here. Yeah, Dude, don't do this. I don't want to split the party up. I really don't. We don't, we're not going to roll initiative and everything, okay? It's, it's not worth it, because you guys won the first battle... These guys are just, there's lots of guys who are still beat up and hurt. The, the leader is just, the leader does not even want to get in the fight. He just, he just sends his guys forward and he stays in the back. And you guys just, like, start beating the tar out of people again. Yeah, I was just going to run up to the leader. Pick up stuff. You're not going to make it to the leader, not through the walls of guys. Don't give me that. So... Like I said, this time we okay. have a significant tactical advantage. Right. <laughs> Can I come up front, boss? Can I come up front, boss? <laughs> come up front? Yeah, it talks to the paladin. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think he would put you up front. Aren't you one of the fighters? Yeah, yep. Right. Yeah, there you go. See? Feels like, oh, yeah. So, yeah, you, you guys just, you guys, you know, beat up a bunch of, you guys beat up a sh- bunch of stuff. This battle doesn't even last three minutes before the watch shows up again. Breaks everything up. Again. Yeah, yeah get that. We really did. She starts doing her little dance. And go back. There's something wrong with her. Oh, it's Greg's you, you character, right? You don't say. Uh, I'm playing my background. I'm just... You wrote your background. No, no, the stuff that I rolled up for the for the characters. No, you're not Asian. Huh? You're not Asian. No. The Asian characters aren't even Asian. <laughs> Mine is too. So, uh... Oh, <laughs> So it is. It is yet another another uh, another brawl. Yeehaw. There we were, oh. minding our own business. After they come, we leave. I didn't know how many they were going to take to throw me out, but I knew <laughs> how many they were going to use. <laughs> is it going to be a full moon? What? Do they have fountains in the city? Not any that you can go spring and frolic and dance in. Nice right, right, right. And if it wasn't a full moon last night, it's not going to be a full moon tonight. Ah. Oh, man. And there is yet another note that gets delivered to you the next day, Aldaris. <laughs> it seems like one of those movies where they keep coming in. Is this going to become a thing? 
Because this is actually kind of an awesome thing and kind of annoying at the same I time. I suppose it's bad as my fault. Show no! Show no! Am I not the prettiest? <laughs> Am I not the baddest? <laughs> You have to say Barry Gordon's Last Dragon. If not, you get sued by the makers of Bruce Lee's The Last Dragon. So it's kind of funny. It's, it was Motown Pictures, basically. It was good. I like it. Shogun of Harlem. This is the Shogun of Harlem. What? You just want to be, oh, you know what? Your, your crazy ranger reminds me of the large white chick. Oh, I would love to peel this banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd have to watch it. Oh. Did you get it, Chris? I got it. I'm thinking. All right. I, I love it when you think. It's, it's awesome. Smoke comes out. It's all kinds of cool. Mm. God damn it. <laughs> oh, so so what do you think? You think we'll I'm not thinking private's gonna work for me. That's up to you. God, I long for the wilderness. Oh, <laughs> Meet at the church. I will secure a room at the church of Heronius where we can meet in private. Don't be a chicken. Come on. You can go in here. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, if somebody else shows up over at the church, I'm going to flip the table. In table case, flip! <laughs> or in this case, it'll be a pew. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you want to turn the dwarf loose in your church, you know. <coughs> or a brawl. Well, I don't anticipate there being a brawl. I'm going to I'm going to tell tell the sovereign at the church exactly what is going on. So <clears throat> that uh, he is prepared and has all hands on deck as it were if something strange happens and we can finish this in a Short and orderly manner. Whatever. So a big room at the church. Yep. Yay! Cool. Okay, handle that. Right. Um, at the uh, at the appointed meeting, there is a uh, some sort of large commotion in the main hallway of the church. Are you serious? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. There's like some yelling, and there might have been a slight alarm for the church that has gone off. Some church guards, you know, kind of run around a little bit and <laughs> stuff like that. Okay. And then uh, one of the church uh, officials is going to come in with a city guardsman. He is a sergeant. He's in, he's in charge. And, uh, and the sergeant says, um, we were supposed to meet a, uh, what we received as a anonymous tip that a dangerous fugitive was being held by the church here. And apparently when me and my ten guards came up to the church and we entered the premises, then all the church officials and everything looked at as strange, and then they said that as we passed through the main gates, the church de anti-magic defenses went off, and apparently someone cast a phantasmic field on all of us to make us look like a bunch of 
thugs with one of them as a big old tattooed guy. I appreciate it. Let me explain some of the strange going on and please accept my wholehearted apology for pulling you into this. It was not yeah. my intent. He's just all like, what in the world? He's all like, first off, whoever that mage is, we're going to find him. <laughs> Well, let me show you the notes that he has written me, and, I, and this will become a little bit more clear. You are aware of the last couple of days of having oh, to are, break... Oh, we are very much aware, and we're not surprised given the two large fighters that you have with you. Two of your companions kind of have a reputation with my squad. <laughs> Oh. Don't we, Master Dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> my dear Sergeant, I, I, I promise you, since they have become in my charge, they have been nothing but model citizens, and we have simply been defending ourselves. Oh, put your hand down. He ain't gonna bother you. Oh, I don't wanna bother him. I got what? Questions. What? Excuse me? Uh, what did you say? What did she say? No, 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 I, I wasn't talking to you, I want, I, but, but I got a question for you. So having a reputation, I tell you, and I take it, is a good thing, right? Ma'am, okay. stir it, please, just just stop, okay? Stop, before I arrest everyone here. Oof. <laughs> I'll just kick you in the head. <laughs> yeah. Will you shut the... I'm gonna, no, seriously, I'm going to kick you in the shit and be like, enough. Enough. No, I'm not talking to him. Shut up! Yeah, but I you have the gnome kicking you. He's telling you, shut up. Not, hey, shut hey, up. Shut up. Oh, you not now. Not now. <laughs> Just leave. Put the crazy dish in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes. Shh. Shh. Five minutes. Wow. God, that's what Grandma said. <laughs> Five minutes quite a time. <laughs> like, that's not what Grandma said in my room. I'm not keeping her quiet. <laughs> See, you got to control. What are you talking about? Yeah. So uh, yeah, he's like, well, I guess we're gonna have to put out put out a warrant for uh, for those guys, and uh, we'll just see where that where, where it goes from there. Uh, I apologize. My apologies again for <clears throat> the situation here. It is not of my making. I have, don't uh, I don't want uh, any situations that would put you in any peril or cause you any alarm. We will be on our way as soon as we are able to ascertain our orders. Okay. So, uh, speaking of which, that day your your orders uh, come in. That uh, <clears throat> that the uh, king of or that the uh, the mayor of uh, of Noldra wants you to. Uh, Travel west to cross the uh, Javan River and then go south and go to Istavan. Okay. Is there a bridge that crosses this river roughly in the direction we yes, need to be going? Yes, you're, you're going you're gonna to get a map. You're going to be traveling a much-used caravan trail all the way there. All right. <sighs> That's what I said. All right, lads and last, we have at long last gotten the information we need to bid this fair city adieu for at least a little while. Tomorrow morning, we ride. Make yourselves prepared. Okay. I'm assuming this is all the same evening that the church ordeal uh, went yeah, down. Yeah, sure. We'll, yeah, we can say that. All right. So the next morning we leave. Oh, we're on the road, so we can gear up. Gear up? Well, you're hitting the open road. Yeah, you better gear up. I mean, I, I think only thing you can see, <laughs> see of us tomorrow oh is soles of boots and elbows. So are you guys going to walk there, or are you going to go with the... There's a caravan that goes there that you guys can ride with. I walk nowhere. There's a guard with the caravan. <laughs> she gets bathed in her tub and 
If that is what if that is what we need to do, then so be it. But I will be riding my horse. Okay. Well, I mean, the group. Uh, I. You guys don't have to travel with the caravan. Well, the caravan is going to go more north than anything. Uh, do you want to? I mean, it, it's up to you. Do you want to hire team of horses and take a wagon or something? Or I mean. Yeah, I would like a teamster and and a uh, and a wagon. Do you want a separate driver? Do you want to hire one? Yes. Okay, the wagon will be five gold. The uh, the teamster to, to ride it, he'll be uh, 12 gold. And he'll supply, you know, the, the grain for probably the two draft horses to, to take in the wagon. Excellent. I'll go ahead and pay it. And it's a it's a covered wagon, and you know uh, it can it can pretty much hold six or so people in it without too much too much problems. We got a couple kind of small ones. Can we squeeze eight in there? Well, or you're, gonna, does... you're gonna take a horse. You can rent oh, a horse. Oh yeah. Okay. You're gonna go free now. Two gold. Two gold. Okay. You need to you need to for for rent. For rent of a horse is two gold. <laughs> no, she's wearing magical armor. Sorry. Look at Aries, man. He's got his. He's like, hey, Greg, Greg, check it out. I got my bone. I got my bone. Check it out. <laughs> wow. You want to chew on it with me? So by magical armor, you mean uh, two pasties? <laughs> No, no. she actually has and magical metal, leather armor. And, so. a ma- and a metal bikini. Of course, he's doing the, you know, first edition chicks, you know, as, as small like, as leather as it is, is still plus two leather armor. So. <laughs> it's kind of like a boosty. <laughs> I mean, That's not armor, it's two leather strips and a cork. Hair is braided all back in the ponytail. Use that for a sling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on YouTube. School girl skirt, video. leather skirt. So Haverman will be uh, in the uh, pink arrows. Yeah, Haverman will be on the pink flag. <laughs> so we can get we can get seven in the wagon though. He said six or so, but so you got Haverman in there. Eldaris, you will be riding your own horse. Senefe will be riding her own horse. Um... Zenon is probably gonna is gonna be in the wagon. wagon. Cobnab will be in the wagon. Uh, the Talazar the two doors will be, in the will be in there. Magnar, Ahira, and Siv. So it's gonna be kind of cramped, but I think you guys could pull it off. How much will it? The teamster is gonna be like. No one's going to be sleeping back there because you guys are going to be like shoulder to shoulder, and probably one, if not two, of you are probably going to have to ride up front with me or something. I'll take front point. Uh, someone who doesn't weigh so much that's going to ruin my shots up front. Was all that, would be, that would be near him. Right. <laughs> or both. Do you want to be in the sun or do you want to stay in the cover? Okay, so you guys are all in your uh, meditation, place. all set up, and you guys get in your three. Oh, Lord, what I she gets up, she takes the horse for a good run. She like, runs them all over. Like, wee, wee, wee. So you're gonna leave the party? No, she's just riding around. This is a lot. Wait, wait, she gets up. She just wee. kind of sounds like you're leaving the party. No, she's just mm-hmm. right away. Let him catch up. She's like, let's see him get. I believe in the city. Thank God. <laughs> Discipline Master Ranger, you will ride point. And point is point is going to be forty feet in front, part way in between myself and the wagon. Yeah. Ooh, he's kind of cute. <laughs> He's all stuffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> all right. 
No, no, no. All right, so it's the group in the wagon, and all you have is the is the teamster. All right, cool. Good enough. Haberman, I want you to post a rear watch. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, Dwarven fighter and the big human fighter, you guys are at the very rear looking out at all times. Cool. Mm. There you go. Ding. I guess I'll just sit next to you while you're meditating. <laughs> Anyone bring a set of cards? <laughs> You're a thief. You're not telling me you don't have a deck of cards or something with you? Oh, I do. Epic fail. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up not making horsemanship more of a requirement for this gig. A lot, of, pe a lot of people don't ride horses. I mean... <laughs> I mean, not ride a horse. I mean, seriously. Yeah, You're damn smart. Ride a horse, ride a bear, yeah, ride right. a wolf. How am I going to be in the back of the wagon gambling? Do damn Get yourself a war pig or something. Yeah. War pig. Elves need to learn how to ride a horse. need to learn how to ride a horse. I'll teach you to ride a horse. <laughs> Maybe she'll teach you bareback. You get lucky. Yeah, she. Yeah, she pretty much likes to ride. She'd rather ride bareback than. He is totally gonna poke you from the rear. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do guys I figured. I figured like if you had a well positioned saddle horn, it'd help you stay on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh God. Well positioned saddle horn. Oh man. Okay, so uh, you guys, you guys head out. We've had a very uneventful couple of days. You guys get to uh, a small village that has a has a traveling inn. Uh, it's ran by a, a family who's there. But uh, since this is on the major road of commerce between Isavin and Noel Draw, of course it's 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 built well. It's a uh, it's a you know it's kind of like a Klein's Corners road stop. You know, Stuckies. Yeah, yeah. It's it's an it's it's an inn for travelers. So they have rooms there. If you want a room, you can you can get a room for a night. They only rent them out in one night. And they're like, we've got caravans coming through all the time. Do they have enough rooms available for all of us? Uh, they can accommodate. Is there an organized you. watch in town. So what? Is there an organized watch for the town? Uh, no, it's. It's a, like a less than a village. <laughs> hey, in diligence, in diligence sake, Haberman, I want you to make sure we have a watch schedule. Yeah, okay. How much silver? Uh, it'll be like a couple of silver a night. Oh, so, <laughs> oh yeah, she's my, another thing that makes think she's crazy. She's got her little... We already know that. And her, and her little tail. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> you know about that. Uh, uh, yeah, so... Uh, no, no, no. Are you a furry? <laughs> no, no, she's... A furry. Yeah, don't, get her room. don't say that around Monty. You're going to end up uh, regretting that. <laughs> pay gold and take a room for myself. I'd rather sleep outside. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, and the weather is really bad outside. It's it's raining pretty good oh, yeah, outside. I'm definitely outside. Well, really? Yeah. We got to go there. Uh -huh. Oh, good. Well, this year's just ah <sighs> oh, the rain. You don't care. Just be sure those for September tenth. So the uh, the end. You know, you you guys go in all. It, at some point, everyone's I assume is going to go in to eat because they, they only serve dinner at like one time. So, <clears throat> go to, uh, go inside to eat except Chris because he's the outsider. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> he's been on his own for so long and pulling outside watch. Outside watch. Yeah. What does that entail? Sitting outside meditating. Okay, good. In the rain. Yeah. Well, good. That's All right. Like him a bit. So every, yeah, I I know. So you know, food's good. You guys are having some. The the grub is good. It's home cooked, like uh, lamb, goat, stuff like that. They'll they'll have a, a mutton stew. It'll be nice little. Yep. Uh, 
and you know, it's going to be a lamb base, you know, yeah. lamb based stew or goat, one of the two. Right. But she'll help tend to the animals. In my room. And if they need help tending the animals and stuff, livestock, and she'll help do that. No, that this family seems to have have that stuff. They they're just like sit down and sit down and eat. Yeah. I have home. to make a make a plate and take it out to the kin side. I will. I don't mind. I like the rain. She'll come back in soaking wet. Set the table. Yeah. 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 It's not dry. Yeah, she is. Yes. Yeah, she is. Um. At some point, there's a there's a, another set of travelers that come in. Door opens up and. Uh, Big old burly guy comes walking in, and another guy comes <laughs> walking in with him. No, they don't have tattoos. It's like a bad rat. <laughs> and uh, the the thing that's you know kind of odd, uh, really quick, is that um, let's see, I need. Haverman will roll. Horace will not. Sinife, I need an intelligence roll from you. Uh, Cognab, intelligence roll. Under? Yes. Um, yep. Magnar, uh, Ahara, and Siv. If I called your name out, you may roll underneath your intelligence. Barely made it. Good. Uh, no. Twelve. Oh, Haver Haverman made it. So anyone who made it <coughs> recognizes this guy as a slaver in your background who basically was in charge and is supposedly killed. But he just walked in the tavern. Oh, that's probably the one with the neck. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, Havernman Haver is going to tell Aldaris, he's going to say, um, that's so... He died last summer when we raided the slavers. Does not appear to be undead. Yeah, this guy. This guy comes. This guy comes in, and he, his face is just automatically hatred. And he he sees. He just sees the group, and he points at the. He just points at the whole group, and starts billowing out. You are the sources of my. Troubles, and you all die tonight. <sighs> and we're going to stop there because there's no chance we'll have time to do that battle.